If you have friends in glory land who left because of pain. Hi, howdy folks. <clears throat> I'm down here at the old bluff. I didn't uh, go to the hidden shelter. Um, I wanted to come try something different today. It's March 4th. It's a Monday. Overcast. Supposed to be up about 73 today. But uh, that's the far end of this bluff right there. And this creek, as you can see, runs right dead in front of it. It turns right there and goes right in front of that part of the bluff up there. And it goes... The shelter goes on around that away a little ways there, but I just got here and I was walking down the creek. Of course, it muddied it up. I wanted to get down here on this end. I was going to walk back up, and I got down here and I was fanning the sand a little bit here, and I uh, got to looking. I bring one of my wife's dishes down here to look through. I hold it on the water so I can see, but uh, I just found that one. It's got a little corner missing off of the ear right there, but pretty decent little point. Displayable, and I'm tickled with it. So from being down here about five minutes, that ain't bad. I'm going to continue. I'm going to walk up this creek and kind of look a little bit, and I'm probably going to get up yonder where I was digging before and dig a little bit. So hopefully we'll catch in later. All right, guys, I, uh, I've walked and stirred the creek a while and didn't find nothing else just at one point, but down there is where I started on that end, where that big shelter is on that end, and there ain't much of one through here. Of course, the creek's right under it. I think originally that was probably land under there is why we found so many points in this creek right here. Twinks me and the other two fellers that I dig with we found over 500 arrowheads just out of this creek portion right there to right there from there down to that bend. And that's a lot of arrowheads. And I'm talking, you know, good arrowheads. I ain't talking about just broken ones. Um, I found a broken pendant here. I found a broken banner stone here in the creek. Another big pendant that uh, had etching on it. And it was never drilled or anything, but I found the top part of it up here on this end and found the big part down on that far end down there. And I found a little stone bead in this creek. And I wanted to show if old Chris Keenan, High Hopes Outdoors is watching, I wanted him to see some of the rocks I'm dealing with here. His are pebbles compared to what I got. <laughs> but uh, I know what he's got is hard work. and. Uh, but there just ain't no way to move all these big old rocks here. And uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to kind of show you all a little bit here. This whole top of this shelf here, as you can see right there, that whole big piece has broke off the top of there sometime or another. We have been digging back in behind it. It's pretty tight quarters back in there. But we found quite a few points in there. And, of course, this thing had been dug. No telling how many years ago. But uh, I ain't got my light with me or I'd show you. Got one of the... Well, if you can see that down through there, I've dug this corner out back in here and I found a, a beaver lake about, oh, it's about three and a half inches long. I found it right down inside this rock, down pretty deep right in there. And found a few points back in there, not a lot, but found a lot. That's the flint pile that I've dug out of this corner right here. There's been a bunch of flint coming out of there. But I just wanted to show you all that. <clears throat> Got neat uh, trees growing right out of the side of the bluff there. And look at this one right here. Well, that's it, folks. I'm going to get to piddling around here. If I don't find nothing else, I'll find one decent one. I'm tickled with that. If I had my light, I'd show you. Back in here, where we've been a digging. 
There's my sifter. I smell a skunk back here though. As you can see it's tight quarters down in there and it's dark, you have to use light, but I don't know if this big old chunk of rock here, if this shelf right here, you can see where it lined up with that one. I don't know if this fell when the Indians was here or the natives or if it fell after, you know, who knows what's underneath that thing. And, it's been tunneled under about as far as I want to tunnel under it, not knowing if it'll fall over on you, you know. But that's it, guys. I told you it's about this bluff. It's a big one. And uh, hopefully we'll catch you in a little bit. All right, guys, I just started uh, sifting here. It's my second bucket. And, um, looks like a rough, rough tip. I don't know if it's been a blade or what, but not know if I'm gonna find a whole lot. I thought I'd show you in that and find a pretty good bit of flint here. I've got a good handful out of two buckets already, and I ain't finished going through this here yet. But we'll uh, hopefully get back on here with you. There's some more of them bigger rocks. I didn't walk up here and show you the back side of this. That's a pile, so. Alright guys, hopefully we'll get back with you. Alright guys, fourth bucket here. I've got a little bird point here it looks like. Pretty nice one. Looks like she's all there guys. You know, take a look at that. It ain't real old, but, I mean, it's old, but you know what I mean. It ain't early archaic or nothing like that, but I'm still tickled with it. I thank the Lord for it. And hopefully, I just started digging right in here next to this rock. We had not done a lot of digging up in here. I figured it had all been turned over, but I'm going to dig right up through yonder up next to them big rocks there and try to tunnel up under them a little bit without them rolling on me. See what happens. We'll catch in later. All right, guys. I got looks like a blunt in my sifter here. It'd be nice if I'd put it in the screen, wouldn't it? It's definitely been blunted off. Looks like there might be a corner gone right there, but. I'd still, they still used it just like that. They could still half it. Finding, still finding some flint, and uh, I think I found, let me see. <clears throat> There's that blunt. I found this. I didn't find an old rough base. And that's about it, guys. But I'm just just getting this kind of cleaned out down in here. So we're going to give it a little bit longer. See what comes up. We'll catch you later. Guys, I ain't found a, a whole one since the last time. But uh, I just rolled out a, a broke. I found a couple of broke since then. But this one was so pretty I had to video it. It would have been a dandy. Real pretty, well made, but tip's gone. There you go. Well, hopefully we will get back on here. I ain't staying much longer. I'm about wore out. I'm about scared that big old rock right there is gonna slide off there and take my legs off. I've been trying to be careful. But uh, one other thing for other people that ain't familiar with this bluff new subscribers and all i think i told you earlier what it, some stuff i'd found i found a broken uh, clovis base here that was fluted on both sides found a nice dalton so there's some good stuff here i just hadn't been in a while it's a lot further and a lot harder to get into this bluff than the other one and uh i wanted to work on that other one for a while 
but it's been kind of slow for me so i thought i'd come out here and try it usually i uh work in the creek but the water's up high right now so i thought i'd dig up here today so hopefully we'll get back with you before i leave we'll catch you later all right guys i'm fixing to get out of here it is two o'clock i'm tired i ain't been a few days and or a few weeks couple of weeks my back still bothering me but uh there's all the flint i found today for the amount of flint i found i didn't do real great but i'm tickled with what i got i found this nice started to be a pitted stone And this little rough thing here, kind of like a, almost looks like they were going to notch it there for, to make a point out of it. This side's nice and flat and been chipped well, but they got a giant stack on there with a part of the cortex. And this old big rough thing here, it's busted, probably a blade or something. Rough base. Rough tip. <laughs> Real rough. Another little tip, I ain't got bullions with all that. A, a base off of one, side off of a piece. Um, another little tip. And uh, nothing right there, I will show you. That, that would have been a dandy point. Always oh, seems like them real killers. I mean, you get lucky once in a while, but this was the first one I found down there in the creek. Got a nice bevel on it. Nice point. I found this little bird point. It's kind of thick for style point it is. Usually they're real thin, but hey, that's a whole point and I'm tickled with it, guys. And this old blunt. We found piles of blunts down there at this bluff. I ain't found many of the other bluffs, but I like them things. And I believe this is a handle off of a pot what it looks like thought that was pretty cool and this looks like some mother of pearl off of an old shell i did find some shell down in there i thought that was cool i'm gonna keep that well that's it guys Give me another look down through yonder. That's a big, big shelter under that one right there. But we ain't never even found a piece of flint under that one right there. I don't understand it. It's as pretty a one as you'd ever want. It ain't got no big rocks under it. But everything seems to be up on this end and in the creek. So. Oh, I wanted to say, uh. For resurrecting relics i want to give them a big shout out they gave throwing me a bone the other day and i appreciate them they're good folks good christian folks um if you haven't checked them out go check them out they got a good channel and he works hard at it um, he does uh, all surface hunting but uh he finds some nice stuff look at his last video <laughs> but now um that's it just want to say god bless y'all be kind to folks and hopefully we'll get back at it Catch you later.